Jesus is the answer for the world today. Hi everybody, Pastor Joe here, ready to bring you your devotion for today. Open your Bibles to Romans chapter 12, verse 1 and 2. If you want to put a title, put Mind Renovation. Mind Renovation. Let's read Romans chapter 12, verse 1 and 2. I beseech ye, brethren by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. We've probably all heard how much our thoughts impact our lives over the years and while theologians leaders authors self-help gurus and CEOs may have different viewpoints about life and politics most agree that our thoughts are incredibly important and dictate the direction of our lives it's just common sense to know that as we think so we are as our thoughts go, so do we go. And the Apostle Paul challenges us at the beginning of Romans chapter 12. And it says, not conformed, to not be conformed by the pattern of this world. He's talking about the world system. And yes, he's talking about the world system back then. But he's also talking about the world system today. Why do I say that? Because he's talking about not allowing the system of the world, whatever it may be, to condition us or conform us to its pattern. Why? Because we are Bible-believing Christians. And we need to be very careful that we do not start looking like the world, do not start acting like the world, do not start, you know, Sometimes you hear people saying, well, I just want to be relevant in the world as a Christian. And the reality is, is that, you know, we can never, you're never going to bring the word of God. You're never going to bring righteousness into unrighteousness and be accepted. It just doesn't work that way. And um, righteousness is a stench. It's a smell. It's a bad odor to unrighteousness. And so you and I need to be mindful that, yeah, rejection will take place, um, confrontation will take place, but at the end of the day, you and I are bringing the gospel of Jesus Christ, which means that we still need to be compassionate, sensitive, loving, embrace people, and it's hard to do that, especially when it's people that want to attack you, come against you, and all these different things. But what I want to share with you today is the Bible's talking about not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Now, it's, it's very important that we, we learn something here. The Greek word for the word renewing, all right, the renewing of our minds. The Greek word for the word renewing is anakonias. I'm probably doing it no justice. <laughs> Anna Kainias. And that word means, from the Greek into the English, it's the word renovation. Renovation. So according to this verse, our transformation occurs when our mind undergoes renovation. When our mind is being renovated. I know that sounds like a, a, a word that is used, you know, in many different ways. Maybe it's because something uh, that is broken. It could, it could be uh, that someone wants to change the appearance of their home or their business, and they want to do a renovation in their house. And so that's exactly what we're talking about. We're talking about a renovation 
But this renovation is taking place internally. This renovation is taking place within our mind. Now, why would that actually be something that needs to happen? Well, what kind of renovation does your mind need or does my mind need at this time in my life? Maybe you're still focused on broken and damaged thoughts you've been thinking over the years. Maybe there's some thoughts in your mind that you just entertain, don't know how to let them go, and you're so focused on them, but they bring brokenness, they bring sadness, they bring things that uh, don't edify at all. And so that's one of the things that would be needed to be renovated. Um, maybe it's uh, it could be that you've been playing an outdated recording in your mind that someone said to you during your childhood. Different words, different statements, different comments. Comments. You know, there's a lot of times in our lives when something happens to us and it, it starts playing this old song of the past, you know, the would have, should have, could have, but didn't. And so there's a lot of stuff that takes place within our mind. And so when those things might come up, the reality is, is it's, bringing, it's bringing it to the forefront so that we can see, you know what, this needs to be part of the renovation within the renewing of my mind. To, to create something new, you have to get rid of something old. To change one thing from what's old into new or from something outdated to something updated, then you and I need to be able to renew it, to renovate it, to change it. And that's where that begins. Do you find yourself constantly complaining? Never content. You know, always in always pointing fingers, judgmental. Um, just find yourself in that condition. Is it easier for you to fixate on things that could go wrong in your life? You're always focused on the what ifs. You're always focused in on the things that that you can't control. You know, you're always worried and, and full of anxiety about things that didn't even manifest yet. That things didn't even it didn't even you know come apart. Or come come. Uh, 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 manifest yet in our lives it's just like it's already it's already stress going on because you're unsure and the uncertainty like I said last week can bring a lot of turmoil within our lives and definitely affect the way we think renewing renovation renewing our minds are you jealous and envious of others and how their lives seem to be have maybe better than yours or in comparison maybe you feel that way maybe that's a thought in your mind that you're struggling with do you feel overwhelmed and defeated by how you view yourself you know I've gone through that in many 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 ways you know I'm pretty hard on myself and um, I think that I need to be a little easier on myself these days and give myself a little mercy and grace the way God has given me mercy and grace. Um, I want perfection and I want the best from God. But the reality is, is that the scriptures, if it's, if it's going to be told truthfully, if you read it backwards, it says, um, let's say the last portion, that you may prove what is good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Well, if I want that, if I want the, to be acceptable and perfect will of God in my life, then I, I need to not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of my mind. In verse 1, I need to lay uh, present my body as a living sacrifice, meaning lay my life down before the Lord and say, Lord, have your way in my life. And then the last thing, it says, <clears throat> this is your reasonable service. I love that. You know what he's really saying in those words, reasonable service? Laying down your life, that is the least we can do. Meaning that Christ died on the cross. He paid the price for us. He shed his blood and paid the penalty of sin for us. So because of the sacrifice he brought to the cross, and we didn't have to go to the cross and pay for our sins, and we're able to get forgiveness for our sins now because of the price that he paid. Because of that, you and I should 
have a reasonable service. It should be the least we can do to lay our lives down before him. Isn't that awesome? I love the way that works. But I want to close with this. The renewing of your mind. Three ways that you can begin to renew your mind on a day-to-day. -day. One, start reading the Word of God. Make sure that you are reading the Word of God every day. Number two, worship. Saturate yourself with worship music. There's a lot of good worship music out there. Go to YouTube and put on uh, non-stop worship music and great music will begin to play and just worship the Lord. Learn to praise God even when you don't feel like praising. And the last thing I want to encourage you to do is pray. Begin to communicate with your Heavenly Father. So, God communicates with us as we read the Word of God. We communicate with God as we worship and as we praise. And we also communicate with God as we pray. It is so important. How do we renew our mind? By these three basic spiritual principles. Exercising these spiritual principles begins to renew our mind. The Word of God is like soap going into our mind and cleansing our mind, cleansing our eyes, which are the windows of our soul, cleansing and washing our heart and being able to do the internal work that needs to happen. I just want to say God bless you. I hope you enjoyed this. Go a little deeper. Romans chapter 12, verse 1 and 2. Digest it and let God speak to your heart throughout this day. Have a great day. God bless. Bye-bye.